Hey guys, Nathan here, back again with another video. And I know you guys will be wondering, Nathan, you're uploading two days in a row. What is this? You are never this consistent. Well, uh, last week I dislocated my shoulder for the third time this year. So I've basically just been sat around doing nothing, playing FIFA, because I can't do anything else really that I enjoy, that I usually do in my day to day. So I thought, fuck it. Why not? Let's get some videos out while I've got all this free time. So anyway, today's video is actually on my custom tactics because um, obviously custom tactics are a very big, big part of either whether you like it or not. Personally, I don't really like them. I miss the days where I could just go into a game with a team of players that I liked and just go into a game and have a chance of winning. But now you've got to use players that are like good in game, like you can't. Like everyone's got the same players in it and then you've got to also take time to do your custom tactics so that your players actually do stuff off of the ball. Which, you know, I guess, you know, like, it's, it's kind of realistic in it, but at the same time, it's just so boring. Like, I wish I could just go into games and all that. But anyway, enough of all my waffling, enough of, enough of all my monologues because that is what I'm known for, monologuing. Let's get into my custom tactics. If it, if it, if it wants to load. Okay, so, we have... Um, so yeah, we've got the squad. This is the squad. Um, this is what it starts off as. This is how I get everyone on chem. Um, I know I'm going to get in the comments. Nathan, you're disgusting. You have fatty. I didn't want, I didn't want to do it. Foot champs made me do it. Okay. Foot champs made me do it. Okay. We didn't want, I didn't want to do it. I was originally going to do Ben Rama. Foot champs made me do it. Foot champs made me do it. We got Son. He's possibly uh, he's the best striker I've used so far. Even though he's not a striker, but I play him up front. He's a striker. I play him as a striker. Best striker I've used in the game. Kovacic is unreal. Upa Meccano is the best centre back in the game. I don't want to hear like I don't want to hear like any like debates on that. He's the best centre back in the game. Vardio is also class. Um, I want to get informed Doku, but I'm just not really willing to pay the price for him at the moment but like if his price stays steady within the next week then I'll get him but I just have a feeling that he's just going to crash in price as soon as I buy him so yeah but anyway into the tactics so custom tactics obviously um yeah this is it we got all of these see I don't really the, all of this stuff here is the stuff that I found on Twitter because I don't really understand how all of this works I might sound fucking stupid as soon as I'm like pride myself on being a football expert i don't understand how all of this shit works in fifa like i understand it in a basic footballing sense but i don't understand it in, in a fifa sense but anyway then here's where it kind of um you know so we've got uh fatty who plays on the left obviously stay wide i like i like i like him out wide it drags you know obviously it drags their players wide you know creates more space in the middle getting behind obviously you always want your attackers in behind and that's about it uh son say central and that, that is just it. Like, I just want Son to stay central. I don't want to do any of the getting in behind stuff because obviously I can just trigger him to make the runs myself. So, I just keep him there. Uh, Malin, we have him cut inside and that is, and, and come back and defend. That is because, I don't, I don't really know really. It's just that I don't like all three of my attackers going forward and both my wingers like being being stretched so Malin just comes and brings in more support for when Kovacic or Madison need to lay off the ball and obviously coming back to defend it's just an extra defensive number in case Madison gets caught up the pitch because obviously he's on get forward uh get into the box for crosses and yeah there's nothing really else to that one obviously Lima I want him cutting the passing lanes covering the center and staying back because he's my DM I don't I like to be able to defend with a midfielder. I hate getting countered and only being able to use my back line because then I can't rush out and make tackles because it just obviously opens up for um, passing like through balls through my defensive line. Kovacic balanced because he can he can do all the defensive stuff, but he can, he's also very good at bringing the ball forward because of his dribbling. Um, so yeah, he's on balanced and yeah, you know again a lot of his stuff is very self-explanatory. And then here I've got. Frimpong on overlap, obviously, because I have Malin coming back and defending. So sometimes, if he comes, if he gets caught up, uh, like if he comes back and I win the back ball for a counter and a space down the right, obviously Frimpong will go forward. Whereas Grimaldo on the other side, he's on stay back, and that is because Fan uh, Ansu does not come does not come back to defend, and I don't want them both to bomb up the pitch and get caught 
with a huge gap on my left side. And then these two obviously on to stay back while attacking because, well, they're my centre backs. I don't want them rushing fucking forward. And obviously my roles. I got Son as my captain. Madison on free kicks because he's good at he's good at free kicks. Um, at fight, he's my best penalty taker, so he's on pens. There's there's really nothing else to my custom tactics. Um, but with with the actual custom tactics being shown out the way and the squad being shown out the way. Um, it's time to get into the gameplay and I can discuss a bit more on how the game play, uh, the, how the tactics play in game. So let's get into the gameplay. So here we are in the gameplay segment of the video. And well, what I realized while recording the gameplay for this segment, I played three games. I don't know if I'm gonna use clips from all three games or if I'm just gonna use clips from one game because one of the first game I played, I won seven one. So I've got quite a few clips from it. But what I did notice when playing, um, with these tactics and obviously I've noticed this the whole time I've been playing with them is I've always got passing options open every time I'm on the ball I've always got someone to pass to and when I obviously first picked up the game in the first week week and a half before I discovered which uh, custom tactics I wanted to use what worked best for me um, I realized that a lot of the time I'd get stuck on the ball with a midfielder and have no one to pass to or I'd get stuck up front with one of my attackers with nobody making any runs or supporting me forward but now I always feel like I've got a way out whether I'm able to pick that pass and actually complete the pass that's a different story but I do always feel like I've got a way out when it comes to um, being on the ball I also feel like that my attackers take up a lot better positions now obviously like I said with one being out wide uh, my left side being outside with Antu Fati with that being Fati um, obviously Sonse in central and then Malin come in come in like inside to act as maybe like a third third offensive midfielder um i've noticed that i've always it feels so much easier to create chances there's always someone making a run in behind whereas if you have the normal tactics in a 4-3-3 for example it feels like your midfield and your attack are very disconnected and it's very difficult to find passes in behind etc and away into the other team's box um i also feel like Lima and that that DM position, especially Lima, he's the best DM I've used so far. Um, he's very important, and the fact that he doesn't go up the pitch isn't just important defensively with him being able to cut passing lanes and cut out counter attacks. Um, he's also very good at um, picking positions to be able to recycle the ball, so I don't always have to go forward if I pick up the ball with Madison or Kovacic. Looks like there's not a pass forward. I can always spin around pass to him distribute to one of the full backs and start again it's a very important part of how I play as you can see in a lot of these clips um, also the main the main the main man I want to talk about the main man I want to spend a lot of the time talking about Son Hun Min is is the best attacker in the game that I've used and I believe he's under 100k um, I think he used the 80k last time I checked obviously I packed him on tradable so I haven't actually like looked at his price that often but I think he's under 80k and he is the best attacker I've used just he's so his all round game is fantastic as an attacker and playing him striker he's the best nine that I've used and even though he's not a conventional nine and with him winning player of the month I I am hoping that his SVC is quite affordable and I will be doing it if I can well no I'll, I'll make sure that I can do it I've crafted a few packs I've got a decent amount of follow I should be able to do it and I will um, come out with a video of, as a review of his player of the month card because as you can see in some of these clips his normal card is absolutely disgusting and if you're looking for someone to play striker in your team because you haven't found someone that, that gets in the right positions scores goals it's good on the ball up top San Germain if you can afford him I would definitely recommend going out and buying him and if not then waiting to see if his player of the month SBC comes out on Friday and then completing that SBC because he is one of the best players in the game. Him, Madison, Kovacic, Lima, and Uwe Makano are the best players I've used in this team and in the game. And I honestly think, even though he's not bad, I know I enjoy using him. I think the Ansu Fati evolution is heavily overrated. And if you're still, I don't know how much time's left on the evolution. I don't know if it's still available, but if it is still available by the time this video comes out, I don't recommend completing him. Save your FIFA points, save your coins, save your 50k, because he's he's not worth it. And there will be better players coming out in promos, and even players 
like the RB will drop in price and you'll be able to pick them up and they'll they'll do the they'll do the same job that Faye does. He's not really been too great. But I don't think there's really anything else I, I have to say um about 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 the tactics, about um really. So I'm just gonna talk about my thoughts on the game and I think the the gameplay isn't too bad. I think the only issues I have are the goalkeepers. I feel like the goalkeepers are fucking awful. Um and I think that the co-op controls are awful when you're playing co-op rivals. The controls for that are awful and it is almost unplayable, in my opinion, anyway. But yeah, the only real problem I have with the game, like I just mentioned, is the goalkeepers. Other than that, I like the gameplay. I hope it stays the same throughout the year, even though it won't at some point in the coming weeks. They'll absolutely ruin it and make it unplayable. But yeah, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you find these tactics useful. Please like and comment down below what you want to see next and comment if these... Um, these tactics have helped you um subscribe um really helps um the channel grow check out the rest of the videos on the channel and i've been nathan and i'll see you in the next one peace